Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'll be sharing about this mobile network. So what is the best network in Japan? What is the best mobile network for foreigners, especially the English support? And what is the statistics about the networks? So what you can choose if you come to Japan? So my recommendations and my past three years experience I'll be sharing and speaking in this video. Please follow me until the end. You'll find it very useful. So if you see the basic publicity, you'll see these networks mostly. So these networks, what you can see is SubBank, Mobile and call B Mobile and C. Basically, there are, uh, you can find it internet easily. So you will get the best networks like uh, let's say top uh, five networks or top three networks in Japan. If you type or best networks for um, for foreigners, if you type, you, you will get the report like this. So what is there to learn? So it is a lot of clumsy information, right? So many of you asked to explain. So I am sharing this my suggestions and inputs. So basically for foreigners, the main problem is language. So some services is difficult to communicate when you are in trouble, the language barrier for the communication if there is a reset. And second one is up money. The, the third one is a network also you can say. And I'll be sharing the report also from this uh, Rakuten, uh, not Rakuten, it's from the Japanese mobile uh, network review. So I'll be sharing those feedback also in this video. So please follow me. First, whatever you speak, there is a mobile and there is SoftBank and Sakura Mobile, SIM card, IIJ, Mio, Japan Wireless, Rakuten, Ocean Mobile, Line Mobile. So mostly all the reports will go around this one, GTN Mobile, Line Mo, Aha Mo, Sakura Mobile, IIJ. So mostly it will go multiple names, HIS Mobile, EQ Mobile, right? So if you filter out the top four networks, basically many of these networks works under these uh, like the physical providers for networks it doesn't have for everyone. Only these uh, the top four, uh, to my opinion, they have the network source and they use their own network. Remaining uh, services, they use these services and they collaborate together. If you Google it, you'll get it easily. So the first one, uh, the mobile. So the mobile is like foreigner friendly and you can use your foreign uh, credit cards and uh, that is one credit card people uh, sorry that is one uh, mobile network people use with their foreign credit card and it's little expensive but it is easy to get for foreigners even before coming to japan i use first time mobile and it uses soft bank network so like i said it's under soft bank network and it has uh, services goes to charity that's what they claim it and soft bank uh, you know soft bank is the biggest network in japan i'll summarize at the end uh, the top and my recommendations i'll summarize before that let's speak few things and uh, the Sakura Mobile, I think it is going under Entity Docomo Network and the SIM card Greek, it's powered by mobile communication. It also go goes under the SoftBank, IIJMO, it has Chinese language support and Japan Wireless has uh, this network. So it's uh, like this, it is given. If you Google it, you'll find this information. So what is there for us as a foreigner, as a individual as a person living in Japan or as a person coming to Japan what is there for us to learn what is there to remember so first of all the data for me if you ask me personally I choose to have higher data even though I may don't use every month but it's better to have a bit higher data if there is a difference let's say uh, for one 3 GB let's say 1000 yen that is a Rakuten based plan and even the SoftBank based plan was cheaper so that is okay but in case let's say you want to use more data in some month so you want to use higher right so though what is the best way what is the best network how to choose so before that let's see this report so this report you can find in um, uh, you can find it, it online just type uh, I'm recording the this network study so you can see this one just type Japan Mobile Network Report 2023. So it will uh, include the staff mobile network, so the staff, uh, the four networks report. So the four, four networks basically it is uh, Rakuten, AU, Nokomo, and SoftBank. So they have their own network. So the findings, they have the consistency and they have many parameters. So I'll be speaking few things uh, which will be very crucial to my understanding. And uh, yeah, the AU. AU is a winner for video experience and Entity Docomo is also a winner for this uh, voice experience, joint winner. So basically as a foreigner, we may don't use local calls. I suggest you to think about uh, Skype online call or maybe line online call. It's uh, a bit cheaper than regular calls. 
for emergency and sometimes we still use it on normal calls uh, so that way i i think that way so the winner uh, the, the there are various factors 5g experience coverage and consistency overall experience so basically the coverage is important uh, the coverage basically these four networks has uh, good coverage especially softbank and docomo has a wide coverage and uh, for example these rakuten recently they have spreaded a lot the network capacity Pre previously when i live in this city in the other neighboring areas the network quality was a bit poor and now i can see 5g most of the places where i go in this city so that's where i could find rakuten also is a bit competitive now with softbank and mobile uh, tata docomo and a uh, entity docomo starter docomo is india right so entity docomo so and uh, if you see additional reviews about this one video quality experience 5g experience and coverage consistency in this report you can see so even so visualization is good this uh, report you can search online by yourself it's easy to find so i find video quality may be not necessary for me too much and the price is important download and upload speed is important so rocket mobile the upload speed is very high compared to other networks and the download speed is uh, higher for entity docomo and au and softbank and rocketin is overall okay okay but uh, i find it is very reasonable i didn't find it so slow games experience live video experience 5g experience is good with uh, good with rocketin oh rocketin 5g is spread a lot entity docomo is good for download speed so what is this consistency with the rocketin is 83 and softbank is 83 81 so basically i never had a ch uh, challenge to contact the customer care uh, but my friends uh, they are using uh, different signals gtn mobile and uh, other networks i know people are using and uh, mobile also i used few months i recommended a few friends now many of uh, recommendations coming to rocketin softbank and uh, docomo because uh, sometimes the plans let's say i recommend uh, rocketin but it may not be good for you i because you may find some offer for you especially upper and let's say some data offer some house uh, the wifi offer together it is cheaper so those factors matter so each network has its own combinations so <laughs> it is good for uh, considering those things and then utilize the uh, uh, network so you can think like that and then choose a the network so let's summarize my uh, recommendations directly so my for me the cost uh, is also important i consider cost uh, because unlimited data with low cost is a factor for rocketin i recommend uh, because i used it 2 uh, years my experience it was so good and i don't have too many complaints only few places i don't have signal but they are improving and it's okay i don't need to use too many places but travelers but visitors you may choose mobile and softbank networks because its coverage is good and when you come here you are traveling it's good to be connected with your friends and the fellow members so that is good for foreigners and even the docomo maybe i'm not sure how much you can get it or not many of these things require your japanese sim right so basically we are talking sims only you should be resident to get the sim long term resident right for rocketin you have extra additional points when i bought it's more than 20000 points now they are giving uh, 13000 points recently i heard for the last semester semester and uh, additional points also you will be getting so rocketin is uh, quite competitive uh, i could say you know even you can get data and you can get sim card so yeah so coming to sonat sim card the credit card So this I'll be speaking in the next video please follow me and subscribe I'll be speaking the best credit card for foreigners and if you are living in Japan if you want to come to Japan if you want to plan your credit card life in Japan so follow me this best credit cards I'll be speaking in the next video so Rakuten has a credit card also and I had a recently I blocked one of my credit card uh, I stopped using it I'll share details in the credit cards video like this so please do follow and subscribe and support If you like and share, it will help more people. So, mobile networks, uh, top four networks, I would recommend to choose among them. Basically, for network uh, availability in the many places and the speed of data and the data cost, for total data and cost. Let's say unlimited data and the cost. Uh, limited data, you think you may don't use, but sometimes you may need. So, it's better to have a bit extra data than what you use, what you think to use. And uh, additionally, what I think. the calls uh, rocketin has uh, within rocketin free calls i check recently with my friends uh, it was good and many companies recently they are having collaboration and they are giving recommendation and referrals and even uh, i i got some of the referrals uh, contacts details 
and the plants and all you can check from internet uh, it's normal it's, it goes around 1000 2000 3000 5000 7000 9000 like that so based on the data and the usage softbank goes around uh, 3000 for 10 gb 30 days but uh, like uh, rakuten it was 3000 unlimited data more than 20 30 gb i use sometimes because of my wi-fi is poor in the house that is cheaper but it's poor uh, there's network speed uh, so that's my suggestions and recommendations if you have any doubt and please feel to comment and uh, uh, let me know what you think and also most of the suggestions I am sharing from my experience, I have been observing and uh, studying for sharing people among you, like in the channel and also outside. So please do let me know if you have comments and let's connect in the another video. We'll be speaking about the credit cards. Thank you. Have a good day.